I will tell you the exact history of the trout bus. A long time ago, in a land far away, my sons and I were gonna go fishing. Ghostbusters had just came, come out, so we became the trout busters. We went, had a good time, and every time we would go fishing, we would bust trout. Another family went with us. It was a good time. It kind of died out. I met Chris Hellman, our good buddy and president of the Trout Busters, and we decided we were going to have a trout bust. And it was Chris and I and my daughter and some of her friends and their fathers. And everybody had such a good time that the following year, more people came. And the following year, more people came. And the daughters sort of faded out, but more people started coming to the trout bus. And a friend of ours was killed in Iraq, Lieutenant Dan Reardon. And we decided then and there, I think it was Chris that decided that we should immediately give money to his scholarship at Viani High School. Well, we had 60 people on four campsites at Montauk, and we almost got thrown out of the park. And we got everything all settled out, and we had a good time and we decided to do it again. So we did it again and more people came. And then our good friend Patty Hummert was involved with a group called Casting for the Cure, which was a breast cancer survivor group. So we decided we would do two a year, one for her and then one for Lieutenant Dan. And it's just evolved and grown. We got involved with Dave Carvella and Real Recovery, which is a men's cancer survivor group. So we donate to both causes, and we have a scholarship fund at uh, Missouri S&T that works with the Mill Creek Alliance, which is a real unique ecosystem. And the university is turning it into like a scientific study area because there's some real unusual fauna and flora there that exist only there. That's a natural reproducing trout stream. We have done a lot of things with our money. We sent a. a 27-year-old pancreatic cancer survivor to Michigan for a week to fish. We sent a veteran that lost both legs and one arm to Montana to fish. We try to help people. Our motto is be kind to others and we strive to live up to that motto.